Hello YouTube, Chrono16 here. Today is date November 8th, 2011. And this earthquake update today, this will just be a real short one. Uh, there really is nothing new to report. We know that there was a 4.7 earthquake again in Oklahoma last night. And uh, I've been getting a lot of letters and a lot of uh, emails, excuse me, where people ask me questions. Uh, the only thing I can answer is, is uh, the people were asking me how did I make those predictions in the last earthquake update that I made back on the 30th of October and that video is still archived here on this channel you can go back and look at that in that video I made a lot of uh, predictions and the, the predictions were saying that there are going to be increased earthquake activity here in this region and down in this region and particularly around Australia and Africa I had predicted and up in this area too I had predicted there would be some increased earthquake activity going on there and it was even around Africa, which is not showing up on this map, uh, let's see if we can take it back to the latest age. You know, it's not showing up here. Uh, but uh, the earthquake, a, a lot of the predictions I made in that particular video did come true. Uh, go back and look at it as a reference if you wish. And really, the only thing I can say is, it'll just be me repeating myself, is that the earthquake activity will continue to pick up. Uh, and the predictions that I have for this particular video would be pretty much redundant basically repeating myself uh, there will be still yet in more increased activity here in this part of South America and it particularly around Australia it wasn't it would not surprise me if we get a major earthquake somewhere around Australia and New Zealand within the next week or so it would definitely be possible and the reason why I'm able to make these predictions is there's a lot of heating going on under the earth's surface there and on particular satellite maps that you look at you can see the heating uh, under the surface and there's a lot of heating associated with all these earthquakes you see here on the screen as you can see these are a lot of earthquakes guys and the earthquake activity has picked up tremendously and it's going to continue to pick up because on the the uh, maps that I've just mentioned there's still heating going on and there's a lot of heating going on in this area here and a lot of heating all around Australia and New Zealand and all up through this area there's a lot of heating going on and I again would not be surprised if there would be uh, a major earthquake within the next couple of weeks I'll say there in that area and even up here around Africa up in this region here and uh, over in this region here it wouldn't surprise me if there was a lot of uh, more pick, more intense earthquake activities starting up in this area here within the next uh, seven days there and also down in this area here this part of uh, Africa in this region here there's a lot of heating going on so you're going to probably more than likely see more earthquakes picking up down this region but um, again just all the earthquake areas you see here on this particular program earthquake 3d is just what you're going to see it's going to be continued earthquakes in all these areas uh, i would not be surprised within the next week or so if we had a major earthquake we almost had a major earthquake uh, around japan last night which was a 6.9 it wasn't a, a huge earthquake and it didn't really it didn't it didn't hurt anyone because it was out in the middle of nowhere 6.9 northeast of Taiwan there was a tsunami warning that was posted that's standard routine uh, uh, procedures that they have to follow nobody was hurt from it it was out in the middle of nowhere basically guys as you can see here on map uh, and there was really no one hurt at all from this uh, particular earthquake so there really was no reason to make a video about it or anything last night but uh, the, the activity is just going to continue and the earthquakes are going to increase in different areas. Now let's talk about real quick the Oklahoma earthquakes. The Oklahoma earthquakes are not showing up on these maps that I tell you that are heating. There's heating going on under the surface. There's nothing showing up in this region whatsoever of Oklahoma on maps, on the, map, on the heat maps at all. There's nothing showing up. So uh, that's why in the last video I didn't predict anything about this area because there's no heating going on up here at all there's a lot of heating going on down here in the Gulf right now as as, as I speak there's a lot of heating going on down here but there's uh, nothing showing up on the map for Oklahoma so um, you know it's very strange but all it is some plate movement going on in this area that's causing these earthquakes I will say this I've been getting a lot of, uh, of emails about the me saying that the sun activity has a lot, a lot to do with earthquakes on earth it does people all I'm gonna say is do the research I've posted links to get a lot of you started on the research about solar activity affecting weather and earthquake activity on earth it does affect it it's a fact the research is out there guys 
I've posted a link on different videos uh, on this particular channel. All I can tell you to do is, is to do the research like I have. You'll see that the Earth, the solar activity does have a lot to do with earthquakes here on Earth and the weather patterns, which are very strange right now. We're going to be talking about that in another video. So do the research. I can't do it for you guys. I've done it for myself. I know it's true. Check it out. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. It's a lot of good, useful information here. Thanks for watching.